Guess what we are doing today? Well, according to my sister, it's called zuppa di pesce, not brodetto. Although my mother called it brodetto all of our lives. And I think my father agrees. Brodetto, dad? Brodetto, dad. Exactly. I love it. So brodetto it is. Amazing. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. And we're back. Welcome to Italian Cooking Unscripted. My name is Anthony. And I'm Anna. And together we're Italian Cooking Unscripted. You say it was. <laughs> because everything we do is done with a pinch, a dash, or a handful, just like my mother used to do. On today's show, we're going to make a brodetto di pesce. Brodetto di pesce, which it's is amazing fish soup, like we told you just before. This is an amazing recipe that my mother would do. Now, as kids, we weren't so crazy about it because it was fish. But today, the way that we have perfected this recipe, let's get started on this beautiful brodetto suppa di pesce to make my sister happy this brodetto is going to be amazing firstly are, are you staring at the stain yes see totally. i got this sweater today just for the show and i said i should i wear an apron i said this sweater is just so nice i won't wear the apron so now i got a stain on it hopefully it goes away okay darling you didn't have to focus <laughs> right in on it so let's get a little onion going, a little onion action. It's always the same old, same old. Just grab a little French onion. We cut that like this. Attack. We take care of that like that. We've got the garlic. We take these two things here. We get this on the stove. I'm using the Dutch, uh, the Dutch pot, the Dutch pot, yeah because it retains heat and it's gonna give me a nice, even cooking the way I wanna do it, nice and easy. Now, I did heat it up a little bit, so the oil's gonna be not angry, but angry-ish, but not angry enough to cause me any problems. In goes these beautiful garlic and onions. Grab my mom's favorite tool. Stir that around a little bit. Let that do its magic. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the ingredients to a zuppa di pesce? Reality is, is there's so many things you can put in it. But what's so important, of course, is the quality of the fish that you're going to put in. But you can even get away with some cuts that are a little bit kind of like end cuts and stuff like that because it's going to nicely simmer in there really, really nicely. So variety makes makes the difference um, and just putting it all together being just a little patient but it will cook in no time you will see as we get this going so so this is sauteing inside now we're going to put in a sauce the sauce that we want cannot be a very thick sauce now while i am using passata here i'm going to put a little bit of it not that much because i'm going to dilute it and then I've got my beautiful uh, favorite muti, the cherry tomatoes for sweetness. So delicious. Absolutely my favorite. It goes everywhere. Oh boy, I hope I didn't get it on my shirt, no. on my sweater. All right, so we got those in there. Stir these around a little bit. Okay. And let them simmer a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna, you know why? We're gonna get it to simmer a bit. So when we squirt these, I don't ruin my new sweater completely. <laughs> So we'll get it nice and warm and then we'll break these. The simmer process will start and we'll start adding a few ingredients. And quite frankly, the fish goes in more toward the end, not at the beginning. And that's, my mom used to do that. She used to put it at the beginning. And I mean, this is kind of the way she had learned it. But I looked around a little bit and I said, you know what, getting that fish to a state where it's not overcooked is really, really the objective. So that's why we're gonna get the fish in at, toward the end of this. And uh, I gotta get a bourbon because there's not much to do, really. We're starting to see a slight simmer, slight, ever so slightly. Very important to salt this. A generous I don't see any simmer there. <laughs> I said an ever so slight simmer. 
and Peppa, Peppa Boy. Put some pepper in there. And now we're gonna get this going to a higher, but I think I've got enough warmth to attempt. Hence the reason for the apron that I put on that I did not want to wear today. Yeah, no, I've got, I've got minimal, minimal squared action. Now, very, very, very important when it comes to making the brodetto da zuppa, the soup portion, it is really soup. Now, Anna insists on eating it with a spoon. I have trouble with that, but she eats it with a spoon. I eat it with a fork, and it's not quite a soup consistency that you would slurp with a spoon. And a fork has a little bit of trouble, but you use the bread to do the scarpetta as you're eating it, which makes it even better. And we got some fresh bread. Okay, all, I got them all squirted, all squished nicely. So simmering process is gonna get a little higher. So we can cook this. I'm gonna add, ooh, I almost forgot. Remember we go for that box, the economical, but it <laughs> works. It works, let's be, let's be generous with this because we got to get it a little soupy. So Ooh. we'll put it in. Okay. And now, that's it. It is going to be simmer time again. You let it simmer for yeah, how let long? Yeah, I'm going to let it simmer for probably about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to start adding, I find this, this is, I was going to say a secret ingredient, it's not, but the Portuguese put it in. And I love putting chickpeas in it. I find it really gives it a nice texture. So we'll put in chickpeas and then black olives. We put that in, extra flavor. It all starts to infuse together. The fish goes in, full infusion, delicious. We all eat, my father is so hungry. I'm so bored, I really am. This is so easy to make. Look at the simmer action going. Mm. That is really nice. And actually I tasted it. And it's amazing. So what do I put in? Let, let me open the can. The, the <laughs> oh! One shot opened it. These are canned chickpeas. No big deal. It's not like we're having hummus or anything. The olives. Uh, I like I like any black olive in here. These are kalamata. Now we've got the base going really, really, really nicely. And I'm going to put in some, I think, parsley. Yes. Right, love? And so, guess what? We don't have any fresh parsley. Did we cover it on Harvest Show parsley or we just did it on our own? We did it on our own. Oh, okay, we should have done it on Har Harvest Show. <laughs> My dad had so much parsley mm -hmm. in his garden. So we picked it, chopped it, dried it, of course, and then put it in this got towel mm -hmm. and in a Ziploc right into the freezer where it sits. Okay. And it helps us anytime that we're in need Out of, of parsley. Fresh. Exactly, my love. Look, look. Amazing. Babe, are you getting a macro it of this? So yeah. Good. Let me send some of that smell over. <laughs> Put the top on. Next step, the fish. We eat. My father eats. My sister goes home after she eats, <laughs> and it'll be great. So this has gone so effortlessly. Take a look at this. Look at the simmer. Now that's a simmer. You see the consistency we're talking about? Mm, that's, now, that, so good. that's why I need a fork, because you gotta grab all this goodness on a fork. And the fish. So here's my little secret. Now this is me. You can use pretty well any type of fish in the brodetto. I've even used salmon and it's delicious. But my favorite of all favorite is cod. I don't know, I like the texture, the consistency and the taste of cod. So what I do is I go to my fishmonger, who I know, and I say, listen, give me more of the ends. People tend to want to have the, you know, the, the juicier part of it. I take those, very good. But you can do it secret, frozen too. I have done it, fantastic. Because today, look, the fish, they fish it, it gets on a boat, it's flash frozen. So it's not freezing kind of like, you know, I took a steak home, I thawed it and I, threw back in the freezer. Flash frozen stuff is fantastic. The fresh stuff is fantastic too. I got myself some clams. 
I love clams. And these are gonna be delicious. And of course, shrimp, because that's the favorite of Anna and my sister. They love shrimp. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's the clams first, the cod, and then the shrimp. So what do they do? They all go in, but at different times. So let's put in the cod first. I put them in in pieces. Absolutely. Not a problem at all. Because they won't they'll come apart a little bit. And it's not a problem. So we'll put those in. Shrimp will go at the end at the same time as the clams will go in. I'll put the top back on a bit just to get it to cook through and through. But at the end of the day it's fish, it doesn't have to cook much. Unlike what my mom thought. So let that cook, let the steam cook it through every axis <laughs> that's the beauty of it so we'll do that and then the other ones go in and then we eat nice can i say something please love your shirt it, it, it matches with uh with a oh, pot thank god you said that i thought you said i had another stain on my beautiful shirt that i'm so proud of i'm in a rush i'm in a rush what's happening take a look at this darling Look at this beautiful, look how it's cooking so long. Wow. Now, let's drop in the clams. You want to know what kind of clams these are? I have no clue. <laughs> shrimp. Everybody loves shrimp. Oh, I'm going to do it this way. Get that all in there. All the shrimp right in there. Now, nice. what do we do? Move it around. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's going to break the cod. Don't worry about it, not a big deal. How do we know when it's done? Well, the clams open up, we know that. We want that sauce to get in the clams too. Here's the fish soup, here it is. Cooking in its final few minutes. Oh my. I will put the top back on, why? Infusion, my favorite. So, here it is. What a beautiful dish. Rita, come closer. Isn't that beautiful? This is an amazing zuppa di pesce or brodetto. Mm. And I'm with my favorite people, my dad, who is the most wonderful oh, person in the world. <laughs> I wish you could meet him. And my wonderful Anna. And my sister, who I love dearly, standing behind the counter. Can you at least say hi so they know you're real? <laughs> Just hi, Rita. She won't even say hi. <laughs> That's my well, sister, she, really. Yeah. That's Hello. My sister. <laughs> we thank you, Anna and I thank you, for joining us every week. It's always a pleasure to cook for you. Yes. And this is a great recipe to do. The brodetto is so tasty. I love yeah. uh, Subscribe. Dad, come to each. So, come to each, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. 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 <laughs> it's such a pleasure for us to be here and we're going to enjoy this. I hope you can enjoy it too. Subscribe. We love you. Subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. Thank you. Uh, <laughs>